Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you all for this morning devotion, for our devotion from book of Malachi, third chapter, sixth verse. It says, For I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore, you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob. Dear brothers and sisters, this is the word that is proceeding from the mouth of God towards to the sons of Jacob. It means Israelites. It means the people who rebelled, who turned away, not listening to God are not fearing to God. And God says, you may change. Your situations may change. Your decisions may change. Your circumstances may change. But God says clearly, I do not change. Hallelujah. That means God perfectly is constant in his decisions, his work, his dealings with us, his blessings over our life. Many times we see uh, God's work in our life, our blessings in our life, answers in our life. But later on after some time, we may change our mind because of the circumstances because of the surroundings, because of the people. But God's love never changes, dear people of God. God always is very loving towards his people, is very patient towards his people, is very gracious towards to his people. And he walks always in our life the same that he was being with us. Hallelujah. What I'm trying to tell you this morning, Never give up, dear people of God. Many of us, many times what we do, maybe in the previous, we might be seeing the work of God in our life. Later on, sometimes when God don't show up the things in our life, neither uh, or when you pray, if you, when you don't receive the right answer according to your will, you think that God is not watching over my life. Now, it might be God is very far from me. Why God is not answering let me tell you, people may change, you may change, your situations may change. But God clearly says, for I am the Lord, I do not change. Hallelujah. He will never change. The world will change. Situations will change. The seasons will change. Anything will change in this world. But God remains the same forever and ever. Hallelujah. He's same yesterday. He's same today. He'll be same forever and ever, dear brother and sister. So I encourage you, do not give up going to the presence of God. Do not give up praying God, as you get up from your bed, go to the presence of God. God, I want to seek you more and more. I want to know your works clearly to me, oh God. Maybe sometimes I feel that I'm dried, I'm alone. I'm going through Lord the tough time. But I tell you, you might be thinking God is changed. God will never change dear people of God. God always want to hold you. God always want to be with you. God always want to lead you and guide you to reach the destiny that he has kept for you your life hallelujah with this thought can we just go to the presence of god submit together saying that god here we are oh god we want to know you more clearly your work your leading your guidance lord your presence in our life oh god if you this thought if you begin this day i tell you that blessings of god will become so clear in your life that you will enjoy you will glorify his name shall we pray our gracious, loving, heavenly Father. We want to be thankful and grateful to you, God, for this wonderful morning as we are beginning this day. God, you said, Lord, I am the Lord who don't change. You will never change, oh God. You are same. Your love is same. Your patience towards us is same. Your grace towards us is same. You are always, Lord, with us and you are leading us. You are guiding us. That's the reason today we are alive and we are glorifying the Holy Holy name of God. I pray for all my brothers and sisters, Lord, who are agreed with me this morning that they will have this experience, Lord, to glorify your holy name. Thanking you once again for everything that you have done in us and through us, O God. Giving you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. With thanksgiving, we pray unto the above Father. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.